So here we are inside Investor Search, looking at the Investor Search Bit dashboard. You'll just see before we jump into that right now, there's 612,676 properties for sale across Australia. What we can do in Investor Search is we can turn on the dashboard uh, by grouping or by category. So I'm going to turn on all of the uh, dashboard filters right now. We'll start from the top left corner under strategies and explain to you how strategies work. What we have got in uh, Investor Search is a great collection of property investment strategies and we've put together underneath each of those strategies a number of, of phrases or keywords that describe the types of real estate or appear in the listing descriptions of the types of real estate for sale that fit these strategies. So let's have a look at it as an example. Let's have a look at positive cash flow. So if we were to search for positive cash flow real estate, the types of uh, keywords or phrases that an agent's going to advertise in the, in the description are going to be things around yield, things around cash flow, things around double income, dual income, granny flat, high cash flow, high income, positive cash flow, that kind of stuff. So if we select if we literally select these phrases and um, keywords and did a search, then every type of property across Australia that has those phrases or keywords appearing in the description is going to come up in, in the listing results and investor search. So I'm going to come back to how we apply the keyword strategies in some later tutorials. I just want to show you how the dashboard works right now and the types of filters that are available. So we can move from on from there. We can look for discounted property. You can see there's a number of phrases or keywords, a bargain price, below valuation, cheapest, discounted, distressed, uh, forced sale, that kind of stuff. So all in all, 195 keywords or phrases in Investor Search. Under Finance, we've got things like um, no money down, owner will finance, vendor finance, low deposit, no deposit, that kind of stuff. And uh, renovation, of course, renovation, renovator, do up, add value, that, that kind of thing. Um, under sub Subdivision, we're then able to search for real estate across Australia with, with all of the subdivision phrases and keywords like dual frontage, dual driveway, subdivision, that kind of stuff. If we go into strata title, if we're looking to uh, strata title of block of units, there's a number of phrases that appear there underneath uh, the unit title for New Zealand investors, um, the same sort of thing as strata title in Australia, the ability to look for blocks of units on a single title and convert them to uh, individual uh, unit or strata titles depending on which country you're in. If you're looking for off the plan real estate, again a number of keywords or phrases that will help you to locate those types of properties. Um, and under development of course, one of the key areas that uh, developers find it extremely useful, they can now look for DA approved development opportunity, development potential property across Australia at the, at the push of a button. So that's how the strategy phrases work. If we were to use the keyword section, uh, we can then uh, do things such as look for waterfront property. Um, we, we can put uh, waterfront property in there and either search for uh, individual words, individual phrases, or words, things like that. We can ex also ex exclude uh, words or phrases. So if we want to make sure that when we're looking for waterfront property that we don't want property where it says easy stroll to the waterfront, then we can exclude that kind of phrase out of the results. So if we move to the right now, uh, we've got this, the standard ability to be able to search by region, by state, by suburb, uh, or look uh, in multiple suburbs simultaneously just by holding down the control key and highlighting those. Uh, advanced searches by location allow us to narrow the results down to the listing site that they appear upon. So of course, investor search uh, downloads the listings of all of the major websites across Australia each week, but you can filter out uh, the results to just one particular listing site if you so wish. With the population filters, what, what that allows you to do is to filter out results where the population uh, is below a desirable level. So this is a filter that allows you to avoid ending up with property in one horse towns, one industry towns, by being able to say, you know, only show me po property that sits within a postcode uh, that has a population of at least 10,000 people. So that's how we use that. Of course we can search by postcode, we can per search by suburb, we can start typing in our own suburb if we're not sure uh, of the exact spelling and investor search will pull up um, individual results that allow us to do some searches like that and select suburbs in that manner. One of the other things that's quite helpful is the ability to do a, do a radius search. 
so we can search for let's say uh, any property that's within two and six, six kilometers of postcode 2000 in Sydney so if you can imagine a circular type search that allows us to pick a radius or a distance from a postcode and search in a circular radius around that particular postcode itself so if we come down now we leave the uh, location advanced uh, dashboard and come down to property specifics we can see we can search just all the regular type stuff by dwelling type by price band minimum price maximum price bedrooms bathrooms that kind of thing we can also search by minimum land area that's helpful if we're looking for larger blocks of land uh, land where there's developmental subdivision potential um, and we can also filter the maximum listing age so that we're only seeing property that's listed on the market the last one week, two weeks, um, two months, three months, etc, etc. So we can use the filter for that sort of thing. When we move over to the suburb statistics area, this, these bands and filters are particularly useful. They allow us to filter the results by the minimum and maximum percentage uh, of the median uh, price in that particular suburb at a bedroom, bedroom and dwelling type level. So what does that mean? Well, let's say in a given suburb to make it easy to calculate that a that all, the median listing price for three bedroom houses is a hundred thousand uh, dollars by setting these filters at 50 to 100 percent of the median that ensures that um, all properties that are for sale in that particular suburb at between 50 and a hundred thousand dollars if the median was a hundred thousand um, dollars only those those results would display so quite a useful filter uh, particularly for narrowing out or, or finding property on the market below the median listing price so that's that's the median listing price and we talk about the median listing price being if you take all of the properties for sale on the market right now uh, say there's a hundred properties in a given suburb if we pick property number 50 uh, the, the property in the middle if we're sorting them from highest to lowest that's how we'd calculate a, a median listing price so when we move down to rental yields what investor search allows us to do is filter out uh, results within suburbs where the yields in a suburb are above a certain level. So let's say we take 5% for example, then investor search is only going to display results where the rental yields at a suburb level are above 5%. Kind of helpful if you're looking for higher yielding locations. We can also filter by minimum sales growth. So again, if we're only interested in locations where they've grown 5 or 10% in the last 12 months, we can filter our results on that basis. Um, and that's kind of helpful as well. And lastly, over here on the right, this allows us to uh, use what we call our positive cash flow finder. This allows us to filter out individual properties uh, advertised for sale across the country right now where the uh, asking rent, or sorry, the current rent or the potential rent that's advertised with, with the specific property, and we divide that into the asking price, we can actually calculate the yield of that property right now that's on the market the yield at the asking price. So that's a that's a helpful filter that allows us to filter out property for sale where the yields have already been calculated at an individual level. And you know one of the things our investors find helpful is being able to find a couple of hundred positive cash flow properties um, straight off the bat. So in addition to the dashboard filters, one of the other things we have as a feature is some pretty intelligent uh, sorting ability of the results. So we can see here we can sort sort by uh, most keywords in a result we can sort by uh, lowest median median percentage uh, we can do the traditional um, low to high by listing price we can sort by land area postcode uh, when we do a radius search we can filter the results by the distance from the postcode so if we're looking in a two to six kilometer radius then all of the uh, properties that are closest to that two kilometer radius will display first uh, we can filter alphabetically by suburb uh, we can filter by the listing date. This is a really helpful feature. You won't find the listing date of a property in a normal listing site because we capture that date when we import the property into Investor Search. We can then tell you how long it's been on the market. So that's kind of helpful as well. Um, and there's some other filters you can use there around median rental price uh, and potential yield and stuff like that. So that's the uh, filter tutorial uh, for the dashboard that helps you to appreciate the different types of filters and how they're useful and so as a member of Investor Search make sure you take advantage uh, of all of these filters do some experimentation and uh, if you're not a member come to one of our tutorials and check it out